what was his pathway uh, when he came to Princeton to become the president of the university? You know, some people have this impression that academia is you're sitting in an ivory tower, it's pure intellectual, and then sometimes you hear by Henry Kissinger, the you know, the politics of the university was was the training ground for the politics of the world. What was Wilson's pathway in Princeton? That is a complicated question. He was a controversial choice, actually, to bring on as a faculty member in 1890, which is surprising because he was already a distinguished scholar. He had trained at Johns Hopkins University for his PhD, um, well-respected. But some of the Princeton leadership feared he was too Southern. And this was still that era in which there was a lot of hard feeling surrounding Reconstruction. And so Woodrow Wilson did, in fact, make it onto the faculty, became instantly the most popular professor because of his oratorical abilities. He could hold a lecture hall spellbound. And so he became a beloved professor. And he rises up through the ranks, becomes president of the university in 1902. But what's fascinating to me is that during these years, Princeton is changing. It goes from a college to a university in 1896, its, its profile is rising constantly, partly due to the innovations of Professor Wilson, but also at the same time, the United States is changing. And during these years, you have the Spanish-American War. Suddenly, as Wilson realizes, America is stepping forth onto the world stage. To Professor Wilson, what this means is we've got to train leaders for 20th century America. And to Wilson, this becomes really urgent. And so Wilson starts reforming Princeton University. And I mean, he, he tries to reform every aspect from the teaching. He plays among the undergraduates. People don't like that so much. But basically what's happening, Wilson becomes a reformer to try to make sure that Princeton catches up with America. But at the same time, America starts to notice Wilson. Gosh, look at what's happening at Princeton. Here is this dynamic, intellectual, uh, progressive reformer who's doing extraordinary things. Maybe he would make a great uh, political candidate.